Reiki 1 is amazing. You come to a course probably not quite knowing how that's all going to work out and you walk out of there with healing hands. Reiki 2 is even more amazing. It puts Reiki on a completely different level. By that time normally students have already had some experience, they've learned Reiki 1, they used it on friends and family, themselves, their cat, their dog, their plants and just felt what difference it makes. But they will have realized that it works on different levels. On the level of foam, just bringing energy into the here and now for physical healing, when you cut yourself, when you're printer isn't working, for anything to do with the physical world, the here and now, it's very useful. And to concentrate more on that, to focus more on that, the founder of Reiki Mikao Sui developed a symbol, the power symbol. And this is the first to be introduced in a Reiki 2 course. You will learn how to draw the symbol, how to pronounce the mantra, or even just use the sound vibrations to very powerfully bring Reiki into the here and now. Then there is another level. It's the level of sensing things, of intuition, of guidance, of creativity, of more clarity, basically to do with your mind, to do with your emotions. Something that can't really be grasped with our five senses and yet it's there. And uh, to bring Reiki into this level, or rather to open us up to this level of awareness, Mikao Usui created another symbol, which today we call the harmony symbol. That's the second symbol introduced in Reiki 2. And then there is the incredibly overwhelming third symbol, the connection symbol. Some people call it the distance symbol because it bridges distances. Wherever you are in the world, you are able to send a Reiki treatment to your loved ones. They don't have to be physically present. You can be in London, your loved ones can be in Johannesburg or in Sydney, and you can just sit here and give them a treatment. You can place your hands on their body, just imagine their body and they will feel it. And you move from one place to the next and you realize it's getting warmer here, it's getting less there and then you get on the phone afterwards and you get the feedback and you realize this is exactly the right spots. So this is the third symbol that we introduce in the Reiki 2 course and in our courses at the Reiki Academy what we do is we place half of the group in one room and then their respective partners, the other half goes into the room next door, we close the door and then they send a treatment to their clients in the other room and the feedback afterwards is just completely overwhelming. Reiki 2 is also deemed the official practitioner's level and we have a look at increasing guidance, increasing intuition. So we look at some exercises, one is called Reiji Ho, guided by spirit, just to get an idea of where to place the hands, just to hear a word, just to somehow know that's where I need to place my hands. And another exercise is a body scanning where we sense for imbalances in the body. And of course when you practice something professionally there are some regulation, there are rules, there are, uh, are legal requirements. So we'll just have a quick look at that as well so that you are completely confident and confident giving Reiki treatments professionally, whether you do that still to friends and family or whether you open your own business or whether you volunteer and work in the healthcare system, all that is possible after Reiki 2. And of course it's very much for ourselves. It's very much to open up to Reiki more and more to deepen our connection and to bring Reiki more into our everyday life.